Hey, what is up, guys? It's Getting Scott here. I have this a croissant in my hand. Uh, we are still using the webcam. Uh huh. Try to rhyme there, kind of, sort of. But we are building city, and I am securing the perimeter back with um B B BMC Bloomswing City. And uh, to finish upgrading, it takes 317 bloomstones. Holy jag. Yeah. That's right, I'm eating. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, I started researching the. Um, it's right here. Oh, no, it's here. The uh, Glaive Ricochet. It'll take 10 hours to finish. But I thought in the meantime, I would make another AQ video. Um, I mean, not an AQ video, a Bloons Monkey City video. And I think this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably uh, grind on these easy terrain first uh, while eating uh, bread, the croissant. But um, yeah, because uh, the ones up top there were kind of hard right guys I, in my opinion they were they were actually kind of hard like that one where I did last episode where it took me what was it when it was like 15 minutes to be because I lost once and even on the second time I didn't get no lives lost so yeah it, it's um it's 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 a bit tough so I'm gonna do these easy maps first and hopefully get some bloom stones as well in the process and just um yeah maybe maybe if I grind enough I get like so much bloomstone and then just um insta research that uh glaive rook chat and maybe we could do the uh, the boomerang t thrower challenge and it's actually late at night right now um it's the same day where I recorded the last episode um cause Cause I don't know, I just felt like making uh, a Bloomsbury City episode. So I wanted to, I wanted to play Bloomsbury City, but I didn't want to do anything off camera. So yeah, that's that. That's why I'm here, um, eating my like supper, late night supper. And um, yeah, hope you guys will enjoy this video. Peace out.
believe that is the last of these easy ones. These look easy, but they're the water. I won't bother with those yet. Um, because I don't really feel like going to the water terrain. Let's collect some money. And I want to see which upgrades I can get, actually. Okay, corrosive glue, that is nice. Uh, spike production factory can get even faster upgrades. Uh, I mean, even faster, um, that thing while we're, we can get frag bombs. I like that. And we are out of money. All right. Uh, okay then. I don't think I'm gonna use the balloon stone for this one because it's just it, it's it's way too much. So let's just let's just quickly do these upgrades. Um, and let's check out let's let's see how good they are against this medium terrain. Let's try that. And I think I'm gonna commentate through this one. Okay, it's the easy track. But it's medium balloons. Alright. Let's try this. Okay. So basically we got upgrades for the bomb shooter and the glue gunner. I think the glue gunner will be great on this track. So let's try him here. Let's set him to strong. Get the glue soak. Uh, so, uh, so that he will you know, kill the strong balloons. Because the strong balloons are the fast ones. And even the slow strong balloons. Uh, with glue soak when they pop. The insides will be glued and they will be weak. So okay, we got that glue soak. Gonna get that corrosive glue real soon. Come on, come on, balloons. I probably should have placed this guy a bit higher so that it would hit all here as well, so there would be lots of points of uh, contact, of exposure. But uh, that's okay. I um, I put him a little bit back. It shouldn't be too harmful. Alright, let's get the corrosive glue. Alright, balloons are getting popped. Nice, okay. Now, I think next I'm gonna get the ice tower just for maximum slow. Just ice tower and, and glue gunner together. And while the ice tower freezes them, the glue gunner can, free, uh, can just glue everything. Uh, and they will pop, and they will um, pop. And yeah, and I will not lose HP. Uh, but, uh, come on, come on, soon. Ice tower, ice tower, let's uh, get the ice tower. All right, and as well as that permafrost for maximum slow. The balloons are gonna be just so, so dang slow. Yeah. Oh, oh no, but the permafrost doesn't go through layers. Oh my god, that is not too great, but that's okay, cause um, the balloons are still really slow and really, really weak and there we go so yeah basically the glue gunner targets the small but strong like few but strong ones and the ice tower targets the uh, the just giant rushes with tons of um, balloons so this is a good comp and the spike factor just pops everything else uh, basically but let's see we can play we can we can get another glue gunner that might be great because these uh, I think the balloons, those higher tier balloons, you know, with those black balloons, perhaps even lead balloons, maybe, uh, white balloons. White balloons can be frozen, so we gotta have, gotta have that glue gunner action going on. Let's place him right here. Look at that contact area. So many contact points, cause contact points. But um, uh, actually, having two glue gunners and one having one being lower tier than the other is actually. Uh, not that good because the weaker glue might hit um, uh, uh, a balloon that would otherwise be hit by the stronger glue. But that's I it, it, it's fine, it's fine, and I'm stretching a little bit. And all right, come on, balloons, come on, go go go. Um, there it is. Now soon I'm gonna get that corrosive glue as well and the spike factory by the way if you guys didn't realize start upgrading spike factories in the last uh, last few um, uh, last few round thingy robbers in the last last few maps uh, terrain conquering areas. I use the upgraded spike factories you know the one one spike factory and it is very awesome now let's get this glue gunner too strong as well. And I think I'm gonna upgrade the spike, uh, the spike factory next. Yes, the spike factory, spike factory. 
Yeah, come on, come on. Bloons be popped, bloons popped. That region bloon, region slower than the glue pops it. Alright, alright, we got. I think, I think we are not going to lose lives on this one because we got upgrades for our monkeys and they are now stronger. So I don't think I will have to lose lives any longer. Haha. -ha. Stronger, longer, rhymes. Too strong. I'm just way too good at this English language thing. And yeah, I think this strategy is working pretty darn well. Um, uh, yeah, but it, it's not the fastest at taking out the balloons. And for that reason, I'm gonna get a Goomerang Tower right here, set him to hit close. And he will make the rounds go faster by popping the balloons actively. And not just passively sitting there like the Ice Tower or the Glue Gunner. But, let's see, yeah, we got this. Yeah, the Ice Tower, uh, these, these, um, Ice and Black balloons ain't got nothing on me now. Now that my, uh, now that I have glues that soak through the layers. Yeah, that's right. Glues OP, and now let's get a Bomb Shooter right here. Uh-huh. For that extra AoE damage, and I also got the frag bombs, which should be good. Although um, uh, frozen balloons aren't affected by the frags, so I don't know how that will go. But um, let's just let's just see um, how how it goes. And now missile launcher. Oh my God, not enough money. <clears throat> All right. So the pink balloons are really fast but they are not gonna do too much damage but the white balloons are uh, although they just got crushed by my bomb shooter so that is no problem bomb shooter doing tons of AOE damage and let's actually get another boomerang tower right here I think I'm gonna set him to hit last yeah so he'll hit over there and just tons of balloon destruction Alrighty. I actually think the bomb tower. Oh, wow. Never mind then. The round ended. I was gonna say the bomb tower might be doing us a disservice because it's popping the uh, white balloons prematurely before they get frozen. I mean, they get glued, but that's okay. And let's see. Uh, ninjas, ninja boat, ninja dojo. Okay, we can get the sharp shurikens. I would like the, uh, the seeking shuriken. That should be great. And, um, yeah, okay, what else are we gonna do? I think let's just do one more, uh, medium terrain, and then, uh, we can probably. I think we can safely beat the medium terrain now, um, uh, as you saw in the last, um, thingy, last, last, uh, battle, last round. Uh, the medium terrain doesn't seem to be too difficult now that we have upgrades, so. Yeah, uh, I think I'm probably going to do the rest of the medium terrain, perhaps in another video, uh, but using fast forward mode, because I do fast forward mode for the rounds that I don't need to commentate over because they are easy. So, let's get that, one zero spike factory. And let's see, this terrain also 12 rounds. Uh... I think this time I'm going to try a different strat, I'm going to get the dartling gun. Uh, but until then, I think I'm going to try some of that fast forward mode on this man. Now I have almost enough money for a darling gun, but wow, this is so risky because, uh, yeah, the balloons are not letting up on my spike factory. It's struggling a little bit, but now we finally got the darling gun up, and I think we are going to be set. Darling gun OP, especially with uh, with the piercing upgrade on the right side. But okay, come on, balloons. Give me the money so that I can get the piercing darts, the, uh, what's it called? The powerful darts that pierce through balloons, alright. 
Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Yeah, there we go. And by the way, I placed it here. Uh, placed the Gun over here because it's, it's, it is a straight line over through through uh, this uh, just this this um, this straight line. Yeah, basically it's a straight line. And um, yeah, the doing damage to balloons in a line because Darling Gun has three popping power with the sharp um, with the powerful darts. So yeah, you wanted to attack in a straight line for maximum exposure to balloons. And yeah, we are putting work on his balloons. They are not passing my Darling Gun. It is way too powerful. All right. I think next I'm gonna try a boomerang throw right here actually and set him to last uh, because I think it fall it will he will the the boomerang will follow the curve of the track and yeah it will it does follow the curve of the track and it is popping a lot of balloons. All right, that is good. And yeah, I do think that we are actually pretty dang set to do like the entire medium maps uh, medium terrain on fast forward mode because it seems to be pretty dang easy pretty dang easy um, I'm gonna spam some more boomerang throws let's uh, put it there set him to last and oh this is a giant black rush but it does not pass through my giant uh, just mass of spikes produced by the spike factory and oh my god I'm propping them prematurely but that is okay because we are popping every single one of those balloons that try to try to burst through our defenses but soon we will get this ah spike factory fast production alrighty and yeah the boomerang throws are just putting work on these balloons as well as my spike factory as and my darling gun this is a great strat, or well, it's not. It's probably not the best strat, best strat, but it's mine because it's King's Cox. Just because it's mine, it's great. And yeah, just look at those boomerangs that are shredding the balloons. Oh my god, that is awesome! All right, Poptastic, you captured another gla grass tile. Uh, I think. I think I'm gonna. That's gonna be it for this episode, probably. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, just more terrain grinding, more terrain grabbing, but this time on medium terrain. So yeah, again, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy. Like uh, and subscribe would be very appreciated to catch up, catch up on my other uh, content, including AQ and more Bloomswing City and some BTD5. And comment, please. Uh, I haven't seen a comment on the face cam yet. Um, what do you guys think of it? Do you guys like it? Because um, I think it's causing some extra lag to my computer. Uh, this is just one more process to do is using the webcam. So my computer is a bit bummed out when I play AQ. But so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, again, please comment. Please do comment. And that is it for today. Uh, I think that is that will be really it for today. Just last video of the day. Uh, it's actually the next day now because it's 12 already. So yeah, it's getting late. I want to sleep soon. So hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe again. Goodbye, guys, and have an awesome day.